Well, thank you for taking the time to view another version of Develop, Integrate, and Sustain TV, keeping it simple. Well, today we have a very brief uh, illustration for you today on physical to virtual. So if you ever wonder, what the heck are they talking about when they say uh, we're going physical to virtual, this is a simple drawing that may help you understand it a little more. All right, so here what we have is a physical to virtual drawing. Uh, we have four physical servers here and one virtual server here. Note that the virtual server is attached to shared storage. Definitely recommended, but uh, not required, uh, but definitely recommended. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So here we have four servers. Uh, there are four physical servers, uh, file shares, web services, database services, and messaging. Here we have the physical servers themselves that are migrating down and we literally in a consolidation project we take these four physical servers and we migrate them down to a single physical server that has four virtual servers within it. Uh, this is a single physical server with four virtual servers. We've picked the number four for simplicity of the illustration but it could be as many servers um, virtual servers as this physical server has computing resources to take care of. One important note about this is the availability of this single point of failure now. Remember in your environment beforehand we had four servers here so if we lost the file share server web services, database services, and messaging were still active. In this model here if we lose this physical server here we're going to lose all four services. So here's a way to keep uh, from doing that. We can take this single virtual server, physical virtual server, and remember here we're illustrating that if that server is unavailable, remember all four of those services are unavailable because they're all virtual servers on that physical platform. But using host-based replication technology, we can go ahead and replicate the data from this single physical server represented in four virtual servers, replicate it over to another physical server with four virtual servers. So we can actually replicate both data and services to this second server in our node. Now we could do this potentially with anything. We could do one, we could do multiple physical servers here to one physical replication target and instead of having four maybe we have you know maybe we're protecting four physical servers here a total of 16 virtual servers and we have one physical server running here with 16 virtual uh, servers on that one physical server you can play with that and dependent upon the needs of your application and your environment there are many different configurations uh, that you may want to go to one thing to remember when you're thinking about that is the computing resources definitely something to consider in addition you'll want to consider is there shared storage in the environment right are they sharing the storage because there's some things that you need to realize about that as well you need to realize um, what the probability is of all four of these of these physical servers, 16 virtual servers, what's the probability of all four of those servers going out at one time? Probability is low, that may be a good gamble. What you don't want to have is one physical server handling 16 virtual servers when this physical server is only capable of handling six or eight virtual servers. So just be careful in your planning and um, it'll all work out for the best. Well, that's about all we have to share today. Uh, thank you for taking the time to uh, to join us here on another episode of Dis TV. Um, if there are any questions that you may have, please feel free to contact me. My name is Jeff Lush. Have a great day.